Okay, you guys, what is up? The King of Lightning is here today, tonight, tonight, to do a One Piece episode 619 review. Now, before I get started, of course, that means that you guys can look down in the description box below for the link to the preview for next week's episode of One Piece and the One Piece episode itself on One Piece Official. So, this episode review is going to be quick. It really is, because the episode is actually very simple. To be honest, it's... The pacing was okay overall, but they did spend a lot of time on certain scenes. Like, for example, when it came to what was going on, it was straight up OST, like, dun, 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 and then we see flashes of, like, what's going on. We see Battle Frankie covered in fire. We see the kids, and the, they have all these faces. We see Zoro smile. Oh, not smile, but Zoro and Robin. And we see Luffy smiling, Trafalgar Law frowning, Smoker frowning, bloody face. And there was a lot of that. Basically, a lot of OST and scene flash moments. And also, there were a lot of, like, stare-off moments. Like, for example, well, there was a lot of time spent on a stare-off moment. Like, for example, at the beginning, where we had Battle Frankie. Oh, Gen Shogun Frankie. Whoa. Wait, hold on. Frankie Shogun. There we go. We have Frankie Shogun staring off against Bayfire and Buffalo. It's like a little, like, stare-off and shit. Like, a stare-off for, like... A few minutes, and all of a sudden, Frankie, dun 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 dun, dun mm, 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 and then straight up pose like, yeah, battle Frankie, General Left, and that kind of stuff. And there was a lot of time spent on the Monet breathing scene, which I'll be honest, threw me the fuck off. Maybe, I'm, maybe I'm immature. I pro probably am, but. It was like straight up caught me off guard. It's like literally two minutes of just her breathing. Like really. And you're like, whoa, wait, whoa, pause. What's what's because <laughs> uh, it, it threw me off. I'm like, I'm hoping no one has their ears to the wall right now because because I have my volume on max. And so, if anyone was like listening in, it's like, oh my god, like this is what you train a porn. Or something like that. Well, then again, they could be like, he's having sex, but still. It just threw me off because I'm watching the whole One Piece episode and I'm doing work at the same time. And then I, I, I just hear that breathing and I'm like, because I'm, I'm doing my stuff. And then I look up, I'm like, what? Like, <sighs> I'm like, bro, okay, you turn down the volume. So that threw me off big time, and they spent a, quite a bit of time on that. In fact, there were two scenes of that. It was a she, her wings are spread like an angel, and then we have the imaginary snowflakes coming down on her and Flamingo, and then she says that thing, Flamingo, you will become the Pirate King, or Young Master. I believe that you become the Pirate King, Kaijo Kuo. So, and plus, she was going to press the button. So, she knew that she was going to die once she did that. And at the end, we see the explosion. So, I understand that she was in the moment. Because that was going to be her last moment. So, I guess, if it's going to be her last moment, make it at least have some form of ecstasy, I suppose. But, you know, it, it just threw me off. Because it was so unexpected. Because in the manga, there was no, you know, pose off, breathing. Like, you're getting penetrated by a black dude. For like five minutes, and I'm, dude, I'm like, goddamn woman, like she's really in, she's really into it. <sighs> okay, let's not harp on this. No pun intended. Now, aside from that, the animation was as usual. Okay, it was, it was okay. Uh, no real. There were a few scenes of anim that of good animation here and there. Like for example, if you look at my thumbnail, you see that there's an actual photo or an actual animation scene. Where we see Luffy, Sanji, Zoro, Robin, and Nami. And they're actually waiting. They're staring at the gates. But we see them from the back end. And then the way it was, was kind of like we see like Zoro and Sanji fade in. Robin and Nami fade out. And Luffy just stays where he is. So that was good animation at that point in time. 
And then, of course, like I said before, General or Frankie Shogun gets good animation almost all the damn time. Like, he comes in there, dun, 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 twinkling and, like, all glossed over, like he's covered in oil. And then he just battle left or <laughs> general left and that kind of stuff. So, that was good animation at the beginning, at the fight. Even when it came to the Missile Girl explosion, that was good animation. So, the animation overall was actually... You know, I'll give it an okay plus. Yeah, yeah, let's get okay plus. When it came to the overall story progression, the only thing that was actually relevant to the actual story progression was, well, they're still doing the fight between Battle Frankie and, you know, Bayfire and Buffalo. That's still on. And then we have Virgo, I mean, not Virgo, we have Flamingo say a few words to Virgo and Monet as they basically know that the end is coming because she's going to press the button. Then we have Smoker actually, well, not Smoker, we have Caesar Clown. He has Smoker's heart. And then he's about to like, yeah, he's about to come down with an actual, uh, like, metal pike or a metal sharp object, basically. And he's going to try and, because I don't know if he, if he can actually, like, penetrate the actual barrier box that's around the heart. I don't know if he can actually do that. But we'll see. Because you can, because, like, we've seen people squeeze it. So maybe he, he can break through and actually pierce the heart. Who knows? And at the end, we see the explosion. On the frozen side of the island. So, there is a fair amount of star progression. There is. Because we're... And of course, Usopp and the others, they have their sea cuffs. And the main thing here is that... Most of the people... If not all... You know, all the people are actually on the cart. Because they're actually going down the corridor right now. Which, mind you, this is the same corridor that Luffy blasted Caesar Clown through. Grizzly Magnum. And they're flying across that corridor right now. And finally... Kimimon meets up with his son, just not in the way that it was first anticipated. Because his son's a mock dragon, mock little pink Shenron, and Kimimon is Shino Kuni. So it's like, okay, alright. And he, he actually calls his father by his first name, Kimimon. So, I mean, that to me threw me off, but then again, I guess some families are like that. I suppose. So, there is still progression, because it's the meetup, it's the explosion. It's the realization on Monet and Virgo said that, that this is the end. And the fight's still progressing, so that's the same. So overall, progression of story, it was there. So my rating for this week's episode One Piece, I'll say OK+. plus. That's, I think, a fair rating. OK+. Plus. So I'm done. I'm done. It was short. It was short, quick, nice, simple, straight to the point. Usopp at some point does get the sea cuffs, but it wasn't like he found them. These guys just happen to have him, and they're like, here you go. Mm, and that's it. So, end of story. And they still need to go get Caesar Clown because Luffy got a little bit overzealous and he blasted his ass down this corridor. And Law's like, the plan was to capture, not to annihilate. So, obviously, there was a, there's a conflict of interest here. But then again, Luffy is following, uh, he's following Law's plan. Or at least his overall scheme. Because Law, he, he even said... I wonder who is. I wonder who is using who, because Luffy he, he doesn't really use anybody. He just does his own stuff, and people just want him following his pace. So that's just the way it happens to be. But I must point out one thing before I go. Note how everyone's on the island, right? Because he because we have Flamingo, and he's talking to Monet, and he says that there that the weapon that Caesar Clown used four years ago, there's another one like that. Pressed the button, and she already knew. So yeah, I'm already there. So she knew that basically, basically the, the whole thing here is that after the explosion occurs, the person who should be alive on the island is one, and that's Caesar Clown. Because Caesar Clown, he is of course a gas, gas logia, and gas don't gases won't affect them or harm them because he can manipulate them and merge with them, and so on and so forth. Now, well, actually, when you think about it, that means that he should be able to merge with the air itself and become invisible. But whatever, either way. When it comes to the people on the island that that uh, Flamingo has, aside from Virgo and Monet, he has maybe have the Buffalo. They just got there, and he's like, "It doesn't matter. I need Caesar Clan." So he's willing to kill off Baby Five, Buffalo. Virgo, the guy he's known the longest, and Monet for Caesar Clown. 
Now, why is that? Well, the dude's his cash cow. That's obvious. We all know that. That because Caesar Clown is the only person that can make SAD, the SAD, and its ties to high end people in the pirate world, especially the four emperors, you piss off the four emperors. You don't deliver the goods. It is not a good result. Not on flamingos. It's a bad business move. Oh, it is. And if you have no cow, there's no cash. So you got to protect Caesar Clown at all times. And that's why he's going to such great lengths. Because the last person he wants to piss off is someone like Big Man. Because he will, she will come in there. And cause we, cause Flamingo is a powerful dude. We all know this. But she's gonna come in there, and she's going to eat him. Not in a good way. She's going to eat him. Straight up, ass of saliva, just devour his ass. Call it a day. Hey guys, guess what? Even though I love candy, I love sweets. I had some flamingo for breakfast, so she ain't fucking. Her. But yeah, I'm done. I'll leave it at that. The episode overall, I thought it was okay plus. Fair rating. So, King Lenny, be sure to, of course, rate, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace. Have a nice day.